Hello, welcome to another episode of the Mark II Golf Stories. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, that's well over 100 now, can't believe it, thank you very much. Um, this channel was only supposed to be started to uh, remind me how to do things in the future, so it's amazing you guys are enjoying the content and finding it useful. Anyway, today with the GTD, last week we finished off changing the brakes, so today we're going to bleed the brakes and we're going to try and do it with one of these, an easy bleed brake kit thingy. If that doesn't work, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. Let's do it. Okay, so here's the bleed kit. Uh, if you're wondering why we've got a tyre and a uh, pump, it's because to use this, this, is, this uses uh, pressure, hydraulic pressure from the tyre. The tyre needs to be at no more than 20 psi. So I'm just going to attach the valve to the tyre and make sure it's at the right pressure. I'm going to drop it down to 20. Okay, there's 20 psi. Just need to remove the cap from your master cylinder. This cap, make sure you've got the right size one. Goes on there. Just tighten it up. You've got spot on filled. Cap on. <coughs> With a bottle full of fluid, just hang it up higher than the cylinder. And then you touch this end to the wheel. No way. Turn it on. Okay. We kind of expect it to come out a bit faster than that, maybe, wouldn't we? Yeah. And tighten it up. And of course we come to do the last wheel and the bleed nut seems to be a bit rounded and in super tight and we can't loosen it. So my dad's trying to, I don't know, bodge something together. If anyone can do it, he can. Tight, really, really tight. Oh, it moved there, I think. I don't think it did. There it is. No, it's not, it's just chewing it up. It's completely rounded it. Right. As you can see, the bleed nut is in a bit, in a bit of a state. So that's why we're having trouble. Uh, loosening it. So my dad's just going to see if we can get a file. Hopefully we can straighten it out and then get it loose. Turn it around a little bit. Not yet. Turn it on. Oh. 
flat? Is it flat on bottom? Bottom. It's yes. flat there. There you go, it's still like that. So there we go, managed to get two sides flat on this, hopefully we can grab it with some grips or something now. I wonder where they've had it cross threaded, you know. Maybe. That's why it's supposed to be tight, but about bloody knackered that thing. Oh, it's going That's in. going in. What's that? Why's no brake fluid coming out? Huh? Why's no brake fluid coming out? Okay, so with the last brake, we're struggling a bit with this, so we're just going to detach it and uh, try it the old fashioned way by putting a foot on the brake and pumping it. Okay, so we've just popped the master cylinder cap back on, tightened it up and we're going to... Do you want to sit in the car, Dad, or do you want me to sit in the car and pump the brake? You do sit in. I'm going to sit in the car, pump the brakes while my dad does the uh, bleeding. Oh, we've got... Wait a minute, what's going on here? We've got a bleed... What's oh, this? Oh, we haven't. That's quick from up in the top. Alright. Cough. Where's the cough? Where's it coming from? It's coming out. That's a master cylinder. Is this running loose from it? Where, where it was overflowing. Probably. Nope. Seems to have a lot of brake fluid coming down from somewhere. Let's figure out where that's coming from. running down some pipe or something. That's what I'm thinking. There's the pipes from the cylinder itself. Can we come down more when pressing? Ready? Yep. Yeah. Really? Uh, oh, maybe. What? I mean, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Panic over. It was just the brake fluid here running down the drain hole, although we do need to wash that out because this stuff will rot paint. Old school. What? Yeah. Ready coming out? No. A blockage here somewhere. Mm. Nothing coming out. Where's that torch? Yeah. Oh, see if anything comes out, it bubbles or anything. Yeah. So it didn't know. Just taking the brake line off. See so if it again. comes out of the brake line. Take the top of the brake line off. I think that'll be the next thing. We'll do some cloths for underneath this. So we know we've got fluid to the brake line at least, it just doesn't seem to be coming out of the caliper, although the caliper is working. So we're just going to bleed it up to the top of the caliper. Ah. Yeah. To tighten it up then. Yeah, I've got that straight. Keep, keep going.
on the fluid in any reservoir. <coughs> Shed load is right full, wasn't it? Keep Ollie down next time. You down? Mm -hmm. One more. Ollie down. Keep all of it. Yeah. So there we go, that's the brakes bled. It should have been uh, an easy one man job, especially with this. But as usual, with this car, uh, nothing's ever straightforward, is it? So once again, thanks to my dad for helping me and doing all the hard work and all the hard fine, graft. Fine, fine, fine. It's fine. a good man. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, I think my dad should be an internet star. Hi, folks. Uh, give us a like, click on subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.